No. No more bananas. No, please. No more bananas. What the? Oh. Oh, it's just a terrible dream. Oh, hi, guys. Good to see you. I just had the... Huh? Hey! Oh, it's not a dream. There's bananas. Bananas everywhere. Guys, what happened? We've been captured by rebel scum. Apex rebel scum. How did you find me? Hey, come back here, rebel scum. My, my escape prisoner. Oh, he must have led them to me. Guys, how could you let them do this? Hey, let me out of here. You, get me out. The Mininog, they'll save me and they'll hang you for this treason. Apex rebel scum. I will never obey the banana. Never. Big ape forever. Let me out of this jail cell, you dang dirty ape. <sighs> Guys, do something. Hey, what's in that barrel? No! So, anybody have a deck of cards? And so, the epic tale of Captain Clyde, the intrepid space monkey, who has revealed to be a Mininog secret agent, comes to a close. And now, my friends, it's time to start up a new character. <laughs> so, Furious Koala is out. This is the latest beta update. And, unfortunately, all of the characters were wiped, including... The worlds and spaceships, etc. Pretty much a clean slate begins now. So yes, indeed, we have to say goodbye to Clyde. And that is sad. But, this means we get a new character. And we can start writing a whole new story. The pages shall unfold of this book before our very eyes. And I'm thinking bird person, frankly. So let's see what we have here for options. I like the yellow, because it's like a duck. You know a ducky? Rubber. I like that. I don't like that particular stance, however. So let's change the personality. Oh, gee, standard attention there. Nope. Oh, Ooh, that's good. It's like superhero stance. Like, I'm all for it, baby. Look at that. Confident, strong, chest out, chin up, beak up, rather. Okay, aha, I get you. Dun, 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 dun. That's a mighty stance as well. Ew, dainty. No, standard attention. Don't like that one. Um, what was my space monkey again? He was, I think this isn't, wasn't Clyde that one. No, that was Clyde right there. He was at the ready. Ready to strike. Wrestler stance. Get those hands up. Elbows in. All right, let's do this one right here. I like this for a bird. Plumage. Oh, jeez, no. Wow! I'm looking for the duck look. Yes. No. That's chickadee. That's duckish. Okay. I don't think the shirts matter too much because we're just going to get some nice armor. So far. That looks like a bib, really. Pants on a duck. Now, the, the avian characters are sort of Aztec style. Or Incan or something like that. Mesoamerican, you see. With uh, feathers and loin cloths, I guess. <laughs> Skirts, that kind of thing. Um, so I think we'll, we'll do that. I like that right there. How about we change that color, though? White and blue works pretty well together. What is this? Oh, eye fluff. All right. Um, wait a minute now. Beak. Let's, let's, let's go with the beak first. Looking for a duck because I have a name for this guy. Some of you might know this name here. Um, I'd like to see the eyes. That's owlish. I don't want owl. Oh, that's a duck. Look. Yeah. With the white. Let's just go through them all. No, that's Finchy. Oh, that's definitely a duck look, and I like it's kind of like a painted, you know, like war paint on there. That might work well. So the avians are um, kind of warrior like. Um, like, like I said, an Aztec theme. That's nice, too. That's duckish. All right, I'm thinking... 
again. We're probably not going to see the face too much. I think that beak works as well. No, nope, that's bird of prey. Thinking quack quack duck build kind of thing. Nope. That's flat. That looks like a flat duck build to me. Yeah. All right, let's do that. And pants color we did. Shirt color. I'm thinking a red against the yellow would look nice. That's good. Okay. Oh, wow. We have some new options here. Hardcore and permadeath. Oh, my gosh. Not That wouldn't work with a uh, in a series like this. Hardcore. Hmm. I wonder if these can be changed after the fact. Let's just stick with normal. I'll look into this later. I can just remake this guy. I want to. I just want to get this started. I want to show you guys this new world. Duck Starbound. <laughs> Duck. Everyone, Duck Rogers. You probably don't know a Duck Rogers, but you might know a Buck Rogers. If you grew up in the same time I did. Beedy beedy beedy. Okay, Buck. Anyway. We'll talk more about that later. Oh, here it is. Lose pixels on death. Fine. Lose pixels and drop all items. What? All items. That's hardcore, man. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. Not for this. This is going to be a fun, casual let's play. I might do some sort of a challenge down the road, but no. No, no, no. And permadeath, my God, you just lose the character, which could be pretty cool for a series, couldn't it? That can make some things. You know, I'll think about that. We're going to start out with normal. Maybe we can change it later. But here we go. Let's make our Duck Rogers Hero of the Stars normal. All right. Now I'm going to go get onto a server. And we're going to talk about the server. It's a very special server. And I don't have it set up just yet. So give me a minute. I'll be right back. And so begins the epic tale of the mighty Duck Rogers, intrepid space duck, out to prove that Clux, the giant chicken in the sky, or avian, or whatever, doesn't really exist. So let's take a look, in fact, what we're supposed to do as an avian. <laughs> an avian journey begins. Let's start here. You have narrowly escaped the wrath of the stargazers. Your ship has run out of fuel in orbit of an unknown planet. You long to find other grounded capital G there. We'll talk about the grounded. To join with like-minded people, if only you weren't stuck floating in space. You can't help but notice the irony of being a grounded stuck in the sky. Vaguely, at the back of your mind, you wonder if being a space in space will make it easier for Clucks to find you. That is the god of the avians. The, it's, I'm not really sure if it's Clucks, Cluex, Clu, or Cleo, if he's French. Then you remember you're an atheist. Ah, I don't even believe in Clux. Feeling reassured, you begin your quest. Excellent. Now, let's uh, let's see here. The truth about Clux. While it is the case that I may have escaped from my own self-preservation, it is important I do not forget my larger mission also. Clux is not real. I'll prove it. If I can do this, I can free my people. I have heard of other species whose gods are celestial. Clux, however, is flesh and blood. And yet, he has not been seen for many, many years. I will discover why. I will uncover the secret behind the Clux deception. But also flee from my life. So now we have a mission. Again, sort of a rebel here. And we're out to discover the truth behind Clux. And we have some starting gear, which is very nice. Now that should finish a quest as soon as I pick that up. And just put my stuff back where it goes. Been here, done that. Quest complete. Well done. The matter manipulator allows you to manipulate. Yes, of course it does. Now we get our table. Awesome. And now we're ready to roll. So, let's just check out. Let's just sit down here in the pilot seat. Check out our system here. We are on Alpha Ardleo 84. Is that 84? Excuse me. It's a biome of forest level 1. Looks like we have a, a desert and an arid planet and a snow planet. A very nice variety. And lots to, lots to uh, fly around to visit, too. All in the same system, which is nice and easy and cheap to fly about, as far as fuel goes. All right, so we have a um, kind of a wicked-looking sward here. So <laughs> let's head down to the planet and check it out. This is our home planet. I believe we can set this as our home anyway, right? 
Did I just miss that? Yeah. So here we are. It is a uh, clearly a foresty planet because that's what it said. And why don't we let's just put some torches down. Now, quick little thing about this this particular server that I'm on. I did mention I'm on a server, right? Well, this server, first of all, is hosted by Multiplay. Multiplay is a company that does a lot of game server hosting, not just Starbound, but uh, Minecraft and Battlefield, Call of Duty. That They run the whole gamut of, uh, of multiplayer gaming servers. And they're actually the... They're actually the official host of, uh, of Starbound. And when you first start up the game, if you use the launcher, it will actually say that on there. You know, it, it says something like, get a server here, and that'll lead you to its uh, multiply. But, um, but I, I made a deal with multiplay outside of, outside of that. Um, I have a contact there, and they are providing the server for me. And I'm going to be allowing... I've actually invited other people to get on the server with me. Other YouTube personalities that you, some of you guys may know them. I have invited everybody from Minecraft. I've invited some guys from the Hermitcraft as well. And we'll see who will be joining us. I know Biffa is a guarantee. And I'm going to put a link to his channel down below. He's he's 100% in. As far as anybody else at this point, I'm not sure. That is so slow. Slow. Let's not do that. Let's get some stone instead, and then um, we can move on to some stone tools. Man, I haven't been this primitive in a long, long time. I don't even remember how to do this anymore. All right, we got to get cobblestone. Sure we do. There we go. So wood and cobble. Yeah, we can make our basic tools. I, I don't think I'm going to subject you all to this early game play, because we've already done this before with 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 Clyde, and even before Clyde, even even my first space monkeys that I had um, before Clyde was ever even generated. So we don't have to do all that again. You know, we don't need to go through... Where's my stone? There it is. So I'll probably be cutting a lot of this out, but the but the point is, is as I was saying, um, we're going to get some other players on here, and I think it's going to be really cool to have other players in the same galaxy... You know, we'll probably be doing some things together. We might just run into each other. We can probably visit each other's bases um, and go on adventures together and so forth and so on. I'm going to kind of run it like like Minecraft. And again, I did I did invite all the Minecraft guys, so we'll see if anybody is interested. I don't, I'm not really sure if anybody even plays Starbound anymore. I know Zisto did for a while. Etho was for a bit. So I, I put the I put the invite out there for those guys. General invite. And we'll see if anybody wants to join. Yeah, so the server's going to be running pretty much 24-7. And, you know, these guys can get on here anytime and work on their own bases or fly around the galaxy and visit us or whatever. Well done. And now we have to get the food. Right, 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 right. So I'll just put this down. I'm going to have to make a little base here. Make a little landing pad here eventually. Uh, yes, we want a stone pickaxe. Who? Thank you. All right, that's gonna help us get get started here. So yeah, I'm gonna kind of derp around here in the beginning because again, it's been a long time since I've been this far back in the game and such a, a stooge. So we'll have to um. Uh, what do I need? I want to make an axe. Hold on. Oh, I'm even trying to do my dash. <laughs> the dash is indispensable, let me tell you. I want the axe for trees. Right there. I need. Okay, I just need a little more stone. That's not a problem. Um, I'm also going to be getting some sort of uh, special code from Multiplay that's going to allow me to, to essentially give it code to you guys and then if you guys use my code if you decide to get your own server and I don't know if I made that clear enough earlier but they do they actually do rent servers so if you want your own starbound server if you use my code you'll get some sort of a discount and I'm not really sure how all that works yet I have to investigate it further but um, but I'll let you know more about that 
um, in the next few episodes here. All right, I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. So I guess uh, I'll just go do some exploring and chop down some trees and get some building supplies. We'll get, excuse me, we'll get uh, we'll get a little base set up over here. And this is going to be kind of slow in the beginning. So like I said, we'll we'll skip through most of this. But I just wanted to give you the heads up about this series and you know the fact that it's going to be co-op or at least a multiplayer server and we might do some collab together we're going to try to see if we can get some something scheduled and this is great now that we can plant these trees and get more we don't have to worry about running out of them hello money of course oh wow that was fast where's my weapon Nice, we have a little house right here. We might even be able to move in. And it's a birdhouse! It's avian! And I don't see anybody living here, although the door's open. Oh, that guy. That little guy killed whoever owned this place. Well, you know what that means. It's mine now. <laughs> yes, we've got a bed. Oh, this is fab. Oh, yeah, baby. That was fortuitous. Oh. Uh... Oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Is this Klux? Because I don't believe in Klux. I'm an atheist, first of all, and Klux is just a story. It's a hoax perpetrated against the fine avians, the grounded, that had their wings clipped so that, and Klux, or Kluex, or whatever you want to call them, made that demand early on that the lower class chicken people, or ducks, um, had to have their wings clipped so that none could ever ascend to the uh, lofty heights of Klux. But we're going to try to get our wings back. We have lost flight. There's got to be a faster way to get through these. Now, in the old days, we used to be able to hit them with a sword, and I didn't even try. I probably should have. Let's check to see what's inside here. Nothing. Okay, well, we're just going to keep this just like this. This is perfect. I've got my bed. I'm going to go grab my table, and uh, this will be my little starting base. Now, when we get into multiplayer and there are other people on the server, we can invite them to the party here. And it's really easy to get together. And I have played with my son on our local server. And all you do is invite them to the party, and then they can uh, they can just teleport right to your ship. So then you can get together. <laughs> These gassy plants are just awful. <laughs> um, so it should be relatively easy for us to get together and, and do some collabs. So I think I'm just going to chop right through this little bump in the road. But I think it'll be fun to have our own little systems going and we can fly back and forth and say hello, maybe do some pranking, do some adventuring together. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. So I think what I might do is we'll cut out now. I'm just going to bring my table back here. We'll set up for the, for the night. I'm going to go off out into the world, get a little bit more established on my own off camera. We'll get um, you know the basics squared away. And then we'll come back and we'll pick up where we left off, where we leave off rather. And I'm just going to put down my workbench. And I think we might have to move some stuff around. I'm going to move my bed actually. I don't like it here. I'm a bird. I should be up high. There we go. Perfect. Let's move that over a little bit too. It's too close to the bookshelf. It's a nice little starting area. Awesome. Awesome. And I should go grow some crops so I can eat. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a hoe. I need some more stone. Yeah, all right. We're going to call it right now, guys. It's actually night. You can hear the crickets are out now. Let's just get some lighting up here. And Duck Rogers shall return. Oh, look, there's a fire right there. Perfect. Well, this seems like a nice warm planet anyway. But that's very nice to have that all made up for me. Okay. And with that, my friends, that's our first day with Duck Rogers. All right, we'll see you all soon. Stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.